Hey there, and welcome back to our FPS multiplayer game series in Unity. Now, for the past week or so, I've been working on this beautiful map to add to our FPS game tutorial series. Now, I do want to say, through the very first link in the description, you can get access to a more in-depth tutorial on exactly how I put together this scene, and most importantly, got it to run at over 100 frames per second. And also, get access to the assets that I've created for this project, and download them so you can use them in your own project. So be sure to check out that very first link in the description. Now I truly do believe that in video games over the years we haven't needed much improvement in the graphics department. So for the past 10 years I've picked up a pretty simple guideline to building amazing environments that builds up to three main things. Livelihood, intensity and evolution. Now we're going to focus on these three things as we go through how I made this scene and just look at how you can create similar scenes of this sort for your own game. Now, scene that I started off with looked something like this. Very empty, very dead, and pretty much meaningless, especially for the kind of game that we're trying to go for. And so my first idea was to go ahead and add some life to it. This wasn't particularly difficult to do. I just wanted to add a bit of debris, add a bit of life to it, and make it look a bit more like this. By this time I was pretty happy with the result that I had and I felt like it was just about time to add some more intensity. So I began to work on some fire effects. I went ahead and combined a few sprite sheets that I found on the internet, came up with something that looked like this and I thought this would be wonderful to put on the ground just to give the player a greater feeling of the fact that there is things burning here and you are in danger here and you know you should sort of like start shooting enemies just about now. So I played around with this for a while, put them in the right position, and I was pretty happy with this result. I didn't like the fact that the buildings stand out so much, they look so perfect to be honest. And so what I wanted to do was just put at least one of them on fire. Again I didn't want everything to be on fire, there needs to be places where enemies will jump out at the player to be honest. But putting just a few buildings on fire and just making sure there's fire literally coming out of the window, that made me feel like the scene had a bit more life. To it. Now while things were on fire, the player himself didn't look like he was particularly on fire. So I called out a very interesting flare effect that I've recently learned how to do and I just applied it around the player's camera, gave it a bit of position and gave it a bit of noise because at first it really didn't feel like it was fire but after adding the noise it actually does feel like this is something that's being caused by fire. Again bringing the intensity closer to the player I wanted to add a little bit of debris literally blowing right in the player's face so I've used a particle system for this it's blowing in the wind in pretty much the same direction as the previous debris and I think it looks quite amazing for this scene now adding post processing effects to this scene was something that I felt a bit hesitant to do I'm usually not hesitant to add post processor effects but this particular scene has very specific lighting that really doesn't need to fall apart if anything that you add is gonna look good the very first post processor effect that I wanted to add was the vignette now we needed a bloom for the fire as well and a little bit of uh, subsurface scattering as well would be a bit helpful and I decided to hold back and eventually ended up not adding any ambient occlusion effects as I felt they just kind of obstructed the player from what he wanted to look at. This was a night scene, the street is on fire, they're destroying our city and I don't really want the player to focus too much on the fact that there's realistic shadows in certain areas. Now as a final touch I wanted to add a flag blowing. Again the flag is quite cool because it adds life to the scene and livelihood is one of the main things that I focus on while creating my scenes. So I stepped right into Blender and began working on a flag setup. Now first it took quite some time, I'm not familiar with Blender graphics or anything graphics in general, but I finally got the physics system to work. Bring it into Unity included a rather complicated process of working with pre-simulated files, but that's something I go into full detail in the tutorial that you can get in the link in the description on how I made this flag straight up from the beginning. Now once I thought it looked good enough, I went ahead and set it up in our scene. Happy with this result to be honest. Now this is the scene where we're going to bring in our player. 
add the player make sure everything looks good and just see where we go from there maintaining this exact same look all throughout the level is going to be quite difficult i must admit but as a beginning scene it does look quite amazing and i think it will qualify especially for the beginning look that we're going for now be sure to let me know what you think about this particular scene in the comment section obviously i've spent a considerable amount of time working on it more than i'd like to but in the very next episode we're going to get back to our programming and making sure that things look good over the network aspect of things. Again, thanks you a lot for watching this video and I'm glad that you've stayed with me till the end. Be sure to leave a like on the video and be sure to subscribe as well. It does help me out a lot.